For this one, since we got that 2x plus the radical, we need to get rid of it. So what I'm going to do first is subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. And I'm still left with my radical x plus 1. That's what we wanted. Now this equals 8 minus 2x. So to get rid of that radical, that's a square root. So I would have to square that, which means I'm going to have to square the other side of the equal sign. Well, that's going to leave us with an x plus 1, which is pretty nifty. But on the other hand, that's going to change a lot of stuff. Uh, well, I guess we can show the work for this one. 8 minus 2x times 8 minus 2x, like this. So, like, if I got messed up or whatever, and let's say it was, like, to the third power, I would just add a 9. All right, so we're going to distribute this 8 first, which would give us uh, 64 minus 16x. And then uh, distributing this negative 2 would give us a negative 16x plus 4x squared. And if I combine my like terms here, I got 64. And then uh, we got this two negative 16x's, which would be negative 32x and then I would have the plus 4x squared. Now I would rearrange this, so that's why I'm going to write it over here, so that I have uh, ax squared plus bx, and then plus the c. Well, since we have a polynomial, we want it to equal 0, so we need to get rid of this x and this 1 from both sides, so I'm going to subtract an x, that'd be a 1x, and a 1. So now I've got a 0, and this equals, I got that 4x squared still, but a negative 32x minus another x would give me a negative 33x, and 64 minus 1 is a positive 63. So in order to factor this thing, it looks like we're going to use factoring by grouping. So I've got to take 4 and multiply it by 63 and see what we get. So 240, 252, I think, on that. And we need two factors of 252 that add up to a negative 33. So we know one's going to be positive and one's going to be negative. Uh, so we got our two factors there. Then, yes, if we add them, we get that negative 33. That's great because now we've got this 4x squared, and we're going to break up that negative 33x into uh, negative 12x and minus the 21x. And of course, we still got that plus 63. So this is just factoring by grouping all over again. From here, I'm going to factor out from these two. Looks like I can factor out a 4x, which leaves me with an x minus 3. And then when I factor out from these two, I'm going to need to factor out well, it looks like a negative 21, which leaves us with x minus 3. And that's good because that gives us an, a, an x minus 3 to factor out from both of those terms. Of course, they were still equal to 0. So I've got that 4x minus 21, but now I'm going to factor out an x minus 3 from both those terms. So from here, this isn't too bad. I've got that 4x minus 21, and if I can get it to equal 0, then it would make this statement that we have after factoring that polynomial a true statement as well. So I'm going to add 21 to both sides, and that would give me 4x equals 21, and then divide by 4, and from that I get x equals 21 fourths. But we'll do the same thing on with this green binomial. We're just going to make it equal to 0. So if we add 3 to both sides, we get x equals 3. But we're not done. We need to check those. All right, so let's check. So let's look at the original equation. And we're just going to replace the x's. First, uh, let's start with this 21 ha uh, fourths, rather. So 21 fourths, and uh, 
2 times 21 fourths, that's going to give us 21 halves. Plus the square root of 21 fourths, so we'll make this 1 of 4 fourths. So that's the square root of 25 fourths. That comes out pretty neat. So I got 21 halves plus 5 halves, which would be 26 halves. And does that equal 8? No, it doesn't. So our 21 fourths answer, this one's no good. All right, let's try it with x is 3 then. So I got 2 times x plus the square root of x plus 1. Does this equal 8? And we'll replace the x with 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Then we got plus the square root of 3 plus 1, which is 4. So 6 plus the square root of 4 would be 6 plus 2, which does equal 8. That's true. So right there we know that x is 3 is correct, and that's our answer.